Okay, so here's our second hypothesis testing for one mean problem from our worksheet. And we have here a scenario in which our XYZ Wood Products Company has plants across the country. They make a particular product, which is three quarters of an eight inch plywood, and it has, has to have, it must have, a mean thickness of 3.375 inches. The standard deviation is known to be 0 0.05 inches. Before sending a shipment out, managers test whether they're meeting the 0.375 inch requirements by selecting a random sample of 100 sheets of plywood, and they found the mean thickness to be 0.378 inches. At the 95% confidence, confidence level, is the shipment meeting the company specifications? So once again, how do we know that this is actual, actually a hypothesis test? Well, here we're being asked to Hang on, let me just clean that up. Here we're being asked to, oh, I did it again. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm, I'm still learning how to do this, okay? So just please bear with me. So here we have that at the 95% confidence level is the shipment meeting the company specifications. So that's basically telling us that this is a hypothesis testing question, okay? We know that the product is made is three quarters eight inch and it must have a mean thickness of 0.375 inches. So just like last time what we need to remember here is that we do have some population information. So again we're going to say okay what kind of variable do I have? Well we have um, mean thickness so we're going to have means so we're going to have population values, we're going to have sample values, The population mean mu, we're told, has to be 0.375. And we have the standard deviation is known to be 0.05. So sigma is 0.05. And these are all inches. We then have the sample information. So our sample information here, we have a random sample of 100 sheets and we found the mean thickness to be 0.378 inches. So again we can put our sample information, our x bar is equal to 0.378 and our n is equal to 100. And now we have to try and figure out well what kind of hypothesis test are we going to have to do? Okay, so we have here is the meeting, is the shipment, excuse me, meeting the specifications. Now, if we think about this, we have to recognize that, <coughs> excuse me, meeting specifications means that too thick is gonna be bad, but also too thin is going to be bad. So what we wanna be testing is we wanna test whether that thickness has actually changed from what we wanted. So our Hypotheses are going to be mu is equal to the 0.375 and because we want to know that if it has changed, so this is like a has it changed, we're going to have the mu is not equal to 0.375 and this is a two-tail test. Okay, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. We also have to remember that we're testing at the 95% confidence level. So we figured out our hypotheses. It either meets the specifications, it's 0.375, or it doesn't meet it, it's not equal to 0.375. So let's continue on and do our sampling distribution of means. So we're going to have our X bars like normal. We're going to have our center. Let me just put this up a little bit is 0.375 and then since we're doing a two-tail test we're going to have to have two tails two values that are both going to be z critical and I'm just going to use the z star symbol here for z critical just for ease of writing on the screen and this is going to be an area 
alpha over 2. And remember our alpha, if we come back here, 95% confidence. implies alpha is 0 0.05, so alpha over 2 is 0 0.025. So this alpha over 2 will be 025, and that's a reject H0 region. And this area over here is also going to be alpha over 2, 0.025, and that's also a reject H0 region. And then if we Recall what's in the center then? The center, this is the fail to reject H naught region. Okay. All right, and now we have our model set up. We just have to sort out what is this Z critical. So here we can say, you know, we can have our area to the left is 0 0.025. This is from the lower one here, over here. And that's going to imply that the Z star is equal to, if we look this up, negative 1.96. And because we have a low value and a high value, this is negative 1.96. And from symmetry conditions, this is positive 1.96. And now we can go back and start doing our calculation again. So remember our Z calculated is equal to our point of interest. Remember the point of interest is your sample mean, so 0.378, minus the population mean, or the center, 375, divided by the sigma, and remember the sigma is 0.05, divided by root 100. And when we calculate that to two decimal places, we get 0 0.60. So Z calculated is equal to 0 0.60, okay? We now need our p-value. But remember, this is a two-tail test. So we're going to need twice, and in this particular case, because our Z calculated is a positive value, we're going to need twice the area to the right of Z calculated. So that's going to be twice. Remember, we can only figure out the area to the left from the table. So we're going to have 1 minus the 0.7257. So our p-value is going to equal to 0.5486. So don't forget, there's our Z calculated, there's our p-value. And remember, we need that twice the area, okay? So let's move on to locating our Z calculated. Now 0.6 is gonna be somewhere in here somewhere. So there's our 0.60, oh, and that's our Z calculated. We can clearly see that we're in the fail to reject H naught region. So if we come back to our decision and conclusion, if we again go back to the critical value approach, remember that's comparing this test statistic, the Z calculated. Z calculated is equal to 0 0.60, and that is in the fail to reject H naught region. And our p-value approach, remember it's if p-value is less than alpha value, it implies we reject H naught. Now remember our p-value was 0.5486, and that's greater than our alpha value. Remember alpha is 05, OK? 
okay, remember here, alpha is O5, come up here. There's our alpha O5. So that means we fail to reject H0. And again, please notice both methods yield the same result. And again, I'm just going to read out the conclusion statement because my writing is very messy on this. At the 5% level of significance, or you could say at the 95% confidence level, there is not enough evidence to reject H0. It appears the shipment is fine to be sent out. And that's our second example. Thank you.